What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit, this is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work your lady. This story's called, Kevin Needs a Dictionary and Gets an Unexpected Smackdown. First ever post, be gentle, yada yada yada. This happened a few months ago, just at the beginning of the brovid madness, and there were some legal issues involved that are now resolved. The verbal exchange is not exact, but it gives the gist of what happened happened, though I do remember most of the insults. Here is a little background about me. I'm a tiny, somewhat older lady, 5 feet tall and 49 years old, who looks rather unassuming. Most of my adult life, I've worked in probably every aspect of retail, from customer service to now owning a mid-size retail sporting goods store with a couple of partners. So I tend to give off that customer service vibe. I usually try to help people if I can, as long as they are polite. Also, I've been training in martial arts for more than 20 years and teach on the side as a way to give back to my community. My store is about a block away from a major big box retailer. Rhymes with tall cart. Oh, oh, uh, Paul Blart, right? No. <laughs> and I often stop there because we always supply our employees with drinks and snacks to boost morale. Our management shirt is black and gray with a red logo embroidered over the pocket. I also have a mask that says the name of our store across it. The uniform of the store I'm in is either blue or yellow vest with big lettering on the back. On to the tale. One fine morning on my way to my store, I stopped to pick up some soda and chips for my people and some janitorial supplies to hold me through until my next shipment arrives. It was early, so there were very few shoppers and not many employees. I'm filling my cart with soda and because I have situational awareness, I notice a normal, if somewhat pudgy guy, we'll call him Kevin, walking up the aisle toward where I've just finished loading a few cases into my cart. I thought he wanted some soda, so I moved on to the next thing on my list. I go to the next aisle and notice this guy has followed me. Inwardly, I sigh to myself as I can see from his stance and his eyes that he is not happy. Kevin tromps up to me very aggressively and says, What a frick is your problem? You just walked away from me. I need some help. Since I always try to de-escalate aggressive behavior, I put on my sweet voice and said, I'm sorry. Uh, did you have a question about insert my store name, which is written boldly across my mask? What? No. Where is the Diet Mountain Dew? Why the frick would I want to know anything about store name, you stupid cow? Well, maybe because I work there and not here. I've noticed that this store has not had Diet Mountain Dew for a while. Maybe you should ask an employee if they're back ordered. Bull crap! You work here! I see you here every week! As he says this, he advances toward me. I step back a few paces. Sir, please keep your distance. We are in a pandemic. How dare you! How dare you assume my pronouns! You are a homophobic piece of crap! Give me my diet Mountain Dew! I'm a bit taken aback. I apologize for making assumptions, but it still doesn't affect the fact that I don't work here. What would you prefer to be called? I prefer he, him, his. And don't you forget it. Anything else is hate speech. I know you have Diet Mountain Dew in the back. Now go get it, or I will have you fired for being a hateful homophobe. The word sir is a formal way of speaking to someone who identifies as he, him, his. I'm not a homophobe. My daughter is gay. Anyway, I still don't work here. I'll go find you an employee. At this point, two mistakes were made. One by me, one by Kevin. Mistake number one. I turned my back on an aggressor who is still agitated. Looking back, the only reason I can give is I just really wanted to get back to what I was doing so I could get to my store. And honestly, I did not consider him a physical threat. Oh, mistake two. Kevin put his grubby booger hooks on me. He grabbed my shoulder in an attempt to turn me around, I suppose. So at this point, 20 years of martial arts training kicked in and somehow Kevin ended up face down on the ground in a hammer lock with my knee shoved into his back. Using my best martial arts instructor voice, I yell, ATTENTION EMPLOYEE! PLEASE CALL 911 FOR THE POLICE! 
I have been assaulted! I don't know how a martial arts instructor talks. After a moment of shock, Kevin starts squealing. Not yelling, not crying or cussing, squealing like a piglet. Suddenly, where there were no employees, there were at least six swarming us, including the manager. Since I had no idea what Kevin would do, I refused to release my hold on him until the police arrived. The local police department shows up. I recognize one as a regular customer at my store, who also expressed interest in me teaching his kid at the dojo. He looks at me and looks at Kevin squealing on the ground, and I can see the amusement in his eyes. I let go of the squealing piglet, I mean Kevin. That's when his tirade starts, of course. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is a hate crime! Arrest her! Arrest her! She threw me on the ground because I'm gay! I only wanted to get some Diet Mountain Dew! She's a devil! Officer looks at him, about 6 foot, 180 pounds, and then me, 5 foot, 97 pounds, and just raises his eyebrows. Since no one really witnessed what happened, I asked the manager if the officers could review their security recordings. The aftermath of the whole thing was this. We were both briefly detained. The officers reviewed the tapes and asked if I wanted to press charges in front of Kevin, which I declined to do. Kevin starts watching whining and saying, It's not fair! She is hate speech against me! The officer I know asked, What did she say, sir? And of course, Flevin, Flevin, Kevin flips his crap and starts accusing the officer of being homophobic, etc. They are better at de-escalating than I am and get him calm. One of the employees helpfully brought a dictionary up on their phone for poor Kevin. He reads what the word sir means and kind of crumples in on himself. I wish it could say it ended there. Unfortunately, Kevin finally figured out where I do work. He wrote reviews accusing all of us of homophobia. He began to call incessantly and made some threats that escalated into him coming to my store, causing some property damage, and being arrested. This time, I did press charges and sued for libel and defamation. Officer signs his daughter up at my dojo. Wow! Thank you all for the positive responses in the Gold Award. I'm so new to Reddit, that I only just figured out what a cool thing that is. Thank you. First of all, 49 years old, <laughs> freaking martial arts for 20 years, and she's freaking what? What was it? 97 pounds? That's crazy, man. That's someone who probably definitely works pretty hard on maintaining a level of physical excellence. And that's something that I specifically can appreciate. Because, you know, given that I'm a, you know, a fat ass. All right, this story's called Crazy Woman. Well, that's simple. This takes place a couple of months ago. I went to Wally World, or Walmart, for an hour with my friends. Our Walmart was only a two-minute walk. After about 30 minutes, I parted from my friends and went looking around. Keep in mind, I am also listening to music. I ended up stumbling to the car parts section, then went to pass through the toy section. I saw that my Walmart was selling bendy plushes, and I wanted to get one for me. Kinda a bendy fan a bit. I ended up dropping some plushies on the ground, so I had to pick them up. I go back and stand there for a good couple looking at the bendy plushies, and figured they sold listening to Thank Ailstorm at the time. When at that moment, it it happened. It happened. I got an almost sharp poke in my shoulder, and there's the behemoth. Let's call her Entitled Mother. Stereotypical Karen. Hair, get up, hearse, the whole mile and yonder. Just had harsher Bayou Texan slang. I only stared for a couple of seconds, saw her near irritated face, then went back looking at the bendy stuff. Entitled Mother then proceeds to yank the ever-loving crap out of my ear buds, they crash to the ground. I look up, and this is the conversation. The frick is your problem, lady? Excuse me? Is that the language you use at PayPal? And why are you listening to music?
music and not helping your customers? What do you mean? Why are you not doing your job? I need your manager now. Ma'am, I don't freaking work here. Yes, you are. Don't you dare lie to me. She starts pointing her crusty hands at me. Either you help me because my kids and husband are waiting on me, or I get your manager and have you fired. For the second time, you simpleton, I don't work here. At this point, I said to myself, screw this. I'm a skedaddle. I unplug my earbuds, turn around, and walk away to find my friends. Entitled mother starts to yell at me, and a few seconds later, I feel a firm grip on my arm and a violent pull. This bimbo is now dragging me away. Ow! Let me freaking go! I'm taking you to your manager! After we went out of the toy aisle, I throw myself forward and manage to make this woman lose balance and almost fall to her ass. But she doesn't. She then turns around and proceeds to scream at me. How dare you! You nearly made me fall and that's assault! Don't you ever freaking touch me again, you selfish bimbo! Leave me alone! She lunges at me to grab me again when all of a sudden, one of the employees jumps in. Stop! What's going on here? Before I got a word out. This employee had refused me and had assaulted me and I want him fired now! Employee looks at me, then at Entitled Mother. Ma'am, he doesn't work here. He's right! I was legit wearing a Metallica shirt, dark blue jeans, and boots. Good indicators for people I don't work here. Yes, he is! I saw him stalking the toys! Are you blind or plain stupid? And now he's being rude! Fire him now! I need a manager and police here. Entitled Mother heard what he said, then started to smirk at me. The manager shows up first. He takes me and tells Entitled Mother to stand with employee. He starts to question me. What has happened? This woman had come up to me and snatched my earbuds out of my head, then started to demand me to help her because she thought I worked here. And then I walked away. She grabs my arm and jerks it. I lift my short sleeve to show the marks where her nails dug in the skin. I jerked away and she loses her balance and almost fell. I see. I'll look into this. One county deputy steps in after about five minutes and starts taking statements. I give him mine after entitled mother. He tells me that she accuses me of being hostile and I had assaulted her and she wants to file charges on the evil, evil employee. I showed the officer my arm and the officer looks at me more cross-eyed than a deer in headlights. Huh, that is interesting. I'll look at the CCTV and we'll conclude the situation. The manager and officer went off to look at the camera video and come back after 10 minutes. Entitled mother looks nervous now. Ah, uh, are we almost done here? I need to go. Where are you going? You're under arrest for assault. Entitled mother starts to flip her crap, yelling and screaming. She started to resist the officers and he called a backup. It took two officers and the manager to calm her down enough to put handcuffs on her wrists. Afterwards, one deputy comes to me. Are you wanted to press charges? I told him no. I really don't want to get into that hassle. They take her away and I was given an apology and a $5 gift card for dealing with that. Serves her ass right. I ended up going on the county booking site. My county allows to show county jail inmates and I saw her mug shot in charges. She got assault, assault on a peace officer, and resistant arrest. Maybe this would have never happened if she pulled her head out of her ass. I kept this quiet for a bit till my friend introduced me to this website. Hope y'all like it. Shouldn't she also have gotten like a falsifying a police report because she lied to their faces about what happened in an attempt to get an innocent person locked up? All right, this story's called The Owner of My Work pulled the I don't work here lady on a customer. So I used to work at a bar. The owner was an ass, but he was great to work for. He was a super alcoholic and a great tipper. He had been permanently banned from every other bar in town, which is why he bought the bar. He had a policy that if he was drinking, he wasn't the owner. So if he got out of hand, we could throw him out, but not call 86 or call the cops on him. Now, I also would like to add that 
all he did was sign the checks. He had nothing to do otherwise with the day-to-day -day of the bar other than drinking. One morning, I was opening the bar, and typically the doors are unlocked an hour before we open, so regulars could come in and drink. They knew the bartender would be cleaning and stocking the bar and would just deal with the small wait times to get a drink or refill. The owner came in and didn't want to wait for me to come out of the back, so he went behind the bar and made himself a drink. He then went and sat at the bar and put money on a rubber mat. When I came out the back with a few cases of beer, I hear a woman going off on someone who I found out was the guy who signs my checks. She was going off about how horrible he was for drinking on the job and refusing to make her a drink. He simply told her he didn't work there and went back to his drink. When she saw me, she immediately started complaining about him, saying she wanted to speak to the owner or manager. Since I was the only one there, I told her she'd have to deal with me. She went on her tirade about him needing to be fired and then demanded a free drink for his rudeness and unwillingness to help her. I told her that wasn't gonna happen as he didn't work there. Then she decided to take it up a notch and said she knew the owner. You the typical, you'll both be fired, rant and the owner is shaking his head laughing, which made her madder. I called her bluff and told her to either shut up and order a drink or leave because I have things to do. She got huffy and then demanded a tab trying to hand me a credit card. I informed her we were cash only, but she was welcome to pull money out of the ATM near the bathroom. That didn't make her happy, so she decided to stomp out of the bar saying she'd take her business elsewhere. The owner then asked for my keys and promptly locked the door behind her. As soon as he did that, he came back and said, I've never met that woman, so you're definitely not fired. We had a good laugh. She did come back about 20 minutes later because there wasn't another bar open and she got super pissed when my boss waved and went back to his drink. She banged on the door for about five minutes. He then made me a sign to put up on the glass door with the bar's hours and she got into her car and sped off. I luckily never saw her again. That's a pretty cool story. Imagine liking drinking so much that you just buy a bar and you have nothing to do with pretty much just so you can drink and make a profit at the same time. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.